Okay. 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 Hello there. Hello there. Uh, my name is Beth Gaff and I am the systems manager, technology trainer and robotics instructor here at the Peabody Public Library. Um, first and foremost, I always come on a few minutes early just so I can um, kind of let you see. Let me, let me adjust us. Oh, okay. So that way you can kind of see some of the supplies that we're going to be using today, our picture, and uh, we can get started. So the goal is always to get this done in an hour. And uh, sorry, I've got to prop myself up a little bit more. There we go. And uh, today is no exception to that. So we are definitely going to try to get this whole painting done in an hour, and I have faith in us that we can get it done. Um, also, we need to let you know that this is a recorded class. So if you would come in, in which I am checking to see right now if we have anybody waiting to come in, and um, we do not, uh, but that's okay. I'm just checking again, and oops, oops, there we go. Okay, so um, this is a recorded class, so just so you know that, so anything that you put in the chat or anything like that, uh, you you most likely are going to see as well. So um, if you can't watch this right now and you can't join us live, that's OK. Uh, you can always do this later is why it's recorded so I can post it to our channel and you're able to um, do the class later. So we do have about a minute, so I'm just going to let you know what I've got going on here. So I do have my carbon paper for my stencil. I've got a paint tray to put all of my paint on. Um, this is. I'm using eight and a half or eight by 10 and uh, we're going to be doing it the long way this time. We're not going to stand it up straight. We're going to be doing it the long way. So this is what I'm using today. Um, I have three brushes. I have my big brush, my middle brush and my pointy brush. So we're going to be using those. Um, I've got some paper towels that I've got handy and I always have a caddy of paint. Uh, so I have a lot of different colors to choose from with what I'm doing and of course my water dish. So today's painting. Today we're going to be painting this. And um, I did include a stencil for you. So um, I am going to be using that stencil today and I'll show you how we're going to do that. Um, but first and foremost, we're going to start with that bottom layer. In this painting, they've done it in green, uh, a green and a white type wash. However, this could be done in any colors you would like, especially since we have these leaves kind of poking through. So I am going to change mine to, to more of a blue background, uh, but you can definitely grab some greens. You're going to want a dark green, a light green and a white if you're going to do this color. Um, you're always going to need a white, but if you choose like I'm going to go with a blue, so I'm going to go with a turquoise, a light blue and a white. Uh, but you can do yours however you would like. All right, so I am going to get my canvas here. So here's my canvas. Uh, and as mentioned, I am going to go with. Let me pick up my colors here. I'm going to go with an aquamarine color. Kind of mixed with a turquoise color and then my whites. So uh, these are the three colors I'm going to go with. The colors they're asking you to go with um, are basically these two with uh, the white. So it's going to be two different shades of a green with the white. Keeping that you're going to use your dark green for your leaves. So I'm going to go ahead and just put a little bit of paint on my tray here. Um, probably about a quarter's worth. You can always go back and get some more if you need to. And white. All right, so I've got all three colors on my tray. I'm going to use the biggest brush that I have. Um, I always get the question of should I wash my brush before I get started? 
that is a preference that's completely up to you if you would like to do that um, and by washing our brush we just mean we're going to dip it in that water and uh, wipe it off on our paper towel and that's going to get rid of any excess that may have been left on it from the last time that we may have tried to paint so i am going to start by grabbing both of my colors so i have one side with that um, one type of blue and the other side with the other type of blue and then you would do that with the greens if you're planning on doing that and then I'm going to come in here and I'm just going to start going side to side and I'm going to paint my entire canvas like that so I am just going side to side let me what does this do Hang on, I'm going to try to figure out how I can flip this. That didn't flip this. Um, I feel like last month I was able to flip us, but I'm going to go ahead and just flip us like this. So I'm just going back and forth. Um, I do have, oops. I gotta figure out how to flip this. Okay, I'm not really sure, um, but I'll just show it to you here. So I'm just going back and forth and I'm gonna continue to do that now. Right now, I'm going to go ahead and grab my whites, and I'm going to just kind of start to go over that so I can start to implement a little bit of that white as well. So I'm just going to keep doing that um, from side to side, just like this, and you're going to do that on your entire canvas. Now, one thing you can do to kind of stretch your paint a little bit is go ahead and dip it in your water and just tap it off. And now I can come in and blend my color a little better. Now, even though these are panels, they do still have sides. So you're going to want to make sure to grab those sides. So right now we're just painting our background if you're just joining us. So I've picked a couple of colors that I really want to use along with a white that I can start to implement. So here's where I'm at. And I'm just going to paint my entire canvas like that. Grabbing those sides as well. Again, I can dip my brush in my water so I'm able to spread this out a little bit more. And I'm grabbing my sides and I'm getting both my colors. Of course, I forgot my hair dryer like I always do. So I'm grabbing my sides. So we don't have to spend a whole lot of time blending these colors. So you can go in and just blend them how you can here. Don't know if anybody got the chance to see the Northern Lights. I did not. Now, once we are done with this background and we feel pretty confident with the way that it looks, we're going to go ahead and um, set that up to dry. So here's what my background is going to look like. So while you are finishing painting your background, um, I'm going to go ahead and grab my hair dryer. And I'm back. All right, so I've got my little handy dandy hair dryer. Um, I'm going to go ahead and plug that in. And I'm going to start to dry my canvas. So now I'm just going to kind of dry it. Now, we definitely want to make sure this is dry because if we don't, then we're not going to be able to get those colors on there like we want. Right now is a great time to go ahead and implement any other kind of colors 
that you may want to add to this. So I'm just going to grab a little bit more white, spread it out. And now I'm ready. So I just added a little bit more white to mine. And now I'm just going to try to dry it. And we know it's dry when it's not shiny anymore. So you're looking for a non shiny. Once it is dry, we're going to go ahead and trace on our stencil. So if you don't have your stencil handy and ready, you're going to want to get it out. And those stencils that I provide for you, um, you can make those as big as you need to by just putting them on a Word document and stretching them out and then printing them. But because I'm doing a smaller canvas today, um, I'm just going to use the original. Looking for shiny. Grabbing my edges. My poor hair dryer does not sound like it's going to last much longer. Um, because if we don't get this dry, then when we go to put our carbon paper down, it's going to stick to it, which is going to pull up some of your paint. So we don't want to do that. So we just want to make sure that it is nice, nice and dry. So if you're just joining us, I have painted the background and we can really do that in any colors that we want. Uh, mine's in some blues and whites and I'm just taking my hair dryer and I am drying my canvas so I can get my stencil on. And I'm just trying to get it dry so I don't have any shinies. So I am able to get my stencil on. So that is why I am using a hairdryer right now. I'm gonna lift it and see if I can see any shinies. All right, I think my canvas is pretty dry. It's amazing what a little hair dryer will do. I'm just going to touch it and make sure. All right, I think for the most part we are golden. All right. So what I need to do is take my carbon paper and I'm going to use the carbon side and it's going to go down on to my canvas. Like that. And just pay attention to your edges. Keep putting my hands in it. Um, so you might want to go ahead and put it all the way off to the edge just so you know where you are with it. And now I am going to put this down in the corner. And I feel like we may need to implement a little bit more so I'm going to put mine more in the center and then I'm just going to start to trace it on so right now I have mine in the center and uh, I am just going to trace it on oh here we go that one is not good. all right so I have it down there like that and I'm just going to trace it on um 
let's see where my top is. There's my top and they have this coming out towards there. So I'm going to trace it on in um, a couple of different. Actually, I'm just going to put it. I should have made my stencil a little bigger, but we will make do. So. We will make do with this. So I'm going to flip this back around. Sorry about that. <laughs> All right, so I flipped this back around and I'm just going to start tracing it on. So you can decide where you think it's going to be best suited for what you're doing. You may need to do it in sections. Because it should go straight off of your canvas. So I should have made my stencil a little bit bigger, but I will make do with it here. All right, and we're just going to start to trace that on. Now, the trick with tracing, do not lift it until you're done because you will never get it back to the spot that it needs to be again. And so make sure you have traced everything on before you try to lift it. Unless you're really good at tracing hopefully this is going to come out again i like to use actual carbon paper but uh, i am out of it right now so i try to improvise and on my canvas i'm going to probably add a little bit more just because my cam my stencil is quite small so we're going to have to add stuff if you're just joining us we are tracing on our stencil uh, i would show you but that would mean that i would have to lift this and uh, I'm not ready to do that. So we will just have to wait one brief moment. Tracing on my stencil. I am actually almost done. Is what I'm telling myself. So I'm almost done here. And we're going to actually end up filling in a lot of this. So this is just to kind of guide you. Of what it should look like. So as we go. You can actually just start to kind of improvise it yourself. So let me get this traced on and I will show you what I'm working with. I decided I am not going to trace on this other branch just because I want it in the corner. Tracing on our stencil right now. Okay. Think I got it all? Yay! So I traced on my stencil and you can see it in there. Enough for me to get started. Um, I am going to go ahead and come up here and trace on this piece. So I do have a corner piece that I can use. And 
All right, well, let's get started there and then we can always add more later. So I went ahead and added, added in this little corner piece also, um, but I have a feeling that I'm going to end up probably adding a few more of those. I'm just going to wait a second and I'm going to start to paint. So <clears throat> we are going to need um, some brown and white to get us started. So I've got some brown. Um, we may need a little bit of a hint of black as well. Brown and white. I still have some white. And I need um, black. So where my blacks are. Okay, so I do have a little bit of black. Okay. I am going to start with my pointy brush because I don't want to paint too, too much in. So I am going to grab the brown first with a little bit of the black. And I'm going to start to just paint this in. And we can implement that white here real soon. But to get us started, and you can always refer to your stencil also. So I'm literally just painting it in. Just painting it in. So if you're just joining us, we are painting in our stencil. And that is what I'm doing right now. So I will flip this around here in just a second so we can see what's going on. So I'm going to flip this. So I'm painting in our stencil the way that it looks. Um, I mean, as close to the way as it looks. And again, we don't want to copy, so we definitely want to make this our own. So make sure that you are um, adding your own colors, adding your own features. And we can always include or add anything else that we may want to. I'm starting to paint all of this in. So here's some of that. 
branches that we're working with. Think about that one up top later. So now we're going to paint in those apples white. So we're going to get our shapes and we're going to go ahead and paint those apples white for now. That way when we paint on the color that we want, it'll go on a lot smoother. I'll show you what I'm doing. So I'm painting my apples white. Just outlining them and painting them white. And after we're done painting these in white, we're going to start to do our leaves. So we're going to need a couple of different, um, and I'll flip this, a couple of different <clears throat> greens. Sorry, I have a problem with remembering what I'm talking about. So we're going to need a couple of different greens when we're done painting in the apples white. Um, what this is going to do is make that red really vibrant for the actual apples. And I'm just using my smaller brush because it's a smaller area. And uh, the bigger the brush, the more I'm going to try to cover. So I really don't want to cut. Now, don't forget, you've got sides. So we're going to get around in here and grab these sides. I really don't want to cover up um, all of that. So. And we have this one over here. And we might even be able to add a few more on if we want to stretch out our branches and if you're like me you've got a lot of room so we may have to stretch out our branches painting in our apples white um, i don't see any more apples on there but i am going to make some so i'm going to clean off my brush here And I'm going to start to build off of this because I have a lot of extra. So I am just going to start to bring this. Oops, very wet. Not going to work for me. I'm just going to start to bring this out a little bit more. That way I can put more apples on there. And we'll just have our bird in one spot, which will be work out just fine. Grabbing a little bit of black. I need to make it a wee bit darker. I am going to add a little bit of white to this as well, but not quite yet. So now I have another branch that I can work with. I'm going to clean off my brush really well. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, add an apple uh, down there as well. Just because I have a lot of room. And so I was able to add another apple on there. And might be able to, and I'm going to clean my brush. I'm going to make another branch. So I am just kind of ad-libbing this. I'm going to add it in there. Because I do believe I want to add another apple on. 
I'm gonna grab a little bit of this brown so I can this balloon, baby. Because I have a lot of room still. I'm gonna take this branch straight off the canvas. So I am just ad-libbing some branches here and kind of setting myself up to come meet that one. Which I think I've done pretty well, so I'm going to go ahead and get that one added as well. And I'm going to clean off my brush and I'm going to add another apple. Trying to decide where. Here is a really good spot. And we'll have it just kind of resting. And I'm going to paint this in. I am going to draw a stem to it. So, when I need brown. It is wet, so I got to be careful of that, just taking it around my branch here. Actually, I think I'm just going to take it right through it. Just like that. So it's sitting there. Just like that. So we've got a couple extra. Um, I'm just going to draw that in there. So now we have apples. I come in here and add a bunch to that one. Okay. Now we have apples. So while we're waiting for our apples to dry, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to flip this so I can get my paint around. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and grab those greens. So we're going to have a dark green, we're going to have a light green, and we're going to have a medium color green. So I've got a dark green, medium green, and a limeish green. And we are going to start working on those, um, actually, before we do that, let's take our uh, pointy brush, grab a little bit of this white, and we're going to come in and we're just going to accent our uh, tree just a little bit, our tree branches, and I'll show you what I'm doing here. And so I'm just accenting them, and uh, I'm going to cover those up a little bit to give us back that brown and stuff, but we need some accent in there, so I'm going to throw it in real quick. And then I'm going to grab those colors that we used for the branches and uh, add them back in. A lot of painting is just covering up the same thing we just keep doing. So that way we've got that accent now. Flows a little bit nicer. Going back over my branches with that same color that I used. Bleeding out some of that white I just put in. I really just wanted it for a little bit of the accent and that was it. So I put my branch colors back in. I now have some of that white going on. And uh, now I can start working on my leaves. So I'm just going to take my darker color of my green and I'm going to come in and I'm going to start outlining them. And I'm just using my pointy brush to do that. It's really wet.
Okay, so I'm just going through and outlining all of the leaves that I've put on there. And uh, what this is doing is also buying us a little bit of time to get those white, the white um, to dry so we can get ready to paint in the um, apples. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just painting in or I'm tracing all of my leaves that were a part of my stencil. I'm outlining them in the dark green for the moment. And then I'm going to go back through and use all the greens I have. And since I um, ad libbed some, I'm going to have to put in some other leaves that um, are not a part of my painting. So I'm going to have to add those in as well. Now when I'm done doing this, I can start to paint them in using the other greens as well as this darker green. So let's see where we're at with that. I think I'm going to go ahead and put another branch in up here in the corner. branches. I'm just adding another branch in the other corner. And of course, because I added a branch, to add in a leaf. So I just added leaves to those on the other side. Checking my paints here. Adding in leaves where I need to. Cool. All right, let me flip this around so you can kind of see what I've done here. So here's where I'm at. And now I'm going to start to use um, these other two greens that I have here, mixing them together. And I'm going to come in and I'm going to start painting in these leaves. You can always add that line back in, but I'm going to start um, doing that next. There we go. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start to paint all these in using those colors and then I'm going to take my dark green and go back in over. So 
that we are just painting in our leaves right now. We're just moving right along. After our leaves are painted, we're going to work on our bird. So you can decide, you know, what color you want to make your bird. The colors they have in the picture are very, very pretty. Uh, but we know that birds can be all kinds of colors. And so you could most definitely choose a different color for that. Let me get these painted in and then I will show you the accent of them. Because right now it just looks like they're a bunch of blobs. So I'm painting in all those leaves. Let me flip this around while I'm doing that. So I am just taking my colors here and uh, I am painting in the leaves. And then we're going to put that accent back in. And we're going to use a little bit of black. So we've got our outline, we've got them painted in. That one was a little bit wet, so it might take a minute to get it. And of course, the ad libbed ones that we made. Those back in. Get our shape back here in just a second. All right. So now that we have all of those painted in, we're going to start to get our shape back. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my darker green. And I'm going to go in here and I'm going to go ahead and. Put our line back. Like so. And while we're putting those lines back. We are going to start to put some other lines in. Again, there's no right or wrong with this stuff, so. Don't stress it. Okay, now I'm going to grab a hint of black. Just a hint and I'm going to start to come in here and make the actual leaves pop out a little bit. Like so. And it's your painting, so you can design it however you want. And that had way too much black in it, but that's okay because we can always fix it. Now I'm starting to put these in and I'm going to implement some of that darker green when I'm done. And we'll just go back in and um, fix some of that. Okay, so I'm going to go back in with my darker green now. 
and uh, I'm just going to start to go over that, those colors, paint this in a little bit more, and that's going to give us uh, that look. At least in theory it is. It's going to kind of go over it with my darker. And it looks like we're going to have to grab that lighter. We're done with this. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Because it's not giving me the color I want. Got some leaves going, so I'm just kind of making them a little bit lighter. There we go. Now they look like leaves. Hopefully you can see it with this glare. Just going back over them. I can put that line back in with my dark when I'm done. A lot of painting is just doing the same thing over and over. our lines in and now we're just kind of free forming it out because we always have to cover up what we've done and then we'll put our lines back in after we do this at least the lines in the center Some of this just needs to blend it a little bit. Yeah. So. Okay. Now we're just going to throw a, a, the lines in. To give it back its shape. Just giving it back shape. So with all our leaves. There's a method to our madness today. <laughs> so we're just throwing those back in. All right, I am not going to mess with leaves anymore because I feel like we could just spend all day uh sitting here messing with leaves and we've got apples to make so all right that's where i'm at with my leaves i could obviously go on and on and on um, but i'm gonna leave them alone all right we're gonna start on our bird i'm gonna use my black uh, and i'm gonna come out here and this outer part, they've used black and a white, so I'm going to outline that. Oops, sorry. Uh, and this part up here, is also black, so we're going to put that in. Brings us all to there. We've got some wingage going on here. It's a point, but we've got some fluffy. So we're going to paint that in. Um, we still got to give him wings, though, so don't get. Don't go away. Uh, he does have a couple of little feet coming down. Right 
And we're going to grab that white. And we're going to go ahead and create one. Which is going to give us this. There it is. So kind of paint this way. So where do I want to go? Stretch that white out to here a little bit. There's our bird so far. However, we're going to need to fluff him up a little bit. Okay. And it looks like they're just kind of going sideways. Give us those feathers. And it's just one. Keep going over it. Don't overthink the bird. And then they've gone ahead and come in here and draw a little beak. And I am just going to add a little bit of a black to draw a wing. So. They've also used a little bit of a um, orange, which of course I don't have. So let me flip this. There we go. Well, let me go get an orange real quick. We're down to about our last 10 minutes. Because as mentioned, um, we're going to finish this in an hour. All right, so now I have the really thin lights. So let me flip us. So there's the orange. And we need to dot his eye with the white. Very pretty. Let's see if we can do that again. Not too dry. That's a really big eye, but. Trying to make this eye a little bit smaller. It's definitely work. Go ahead and a little bit of that color back. Okay. 
don't mean Sometimes, sometimes, you cover up those spots. Usually when you do that, you got to go farther than that. Okay, so hopefully when that dries, it'll look a little bit better. We'll get a little bit more black around the eye. And then we're going to paint in our um, being difficult. And then we're going to paint in our apples. So we're going to need uh, a little bit of a dark red, a maroon red some white and black, which we've already been working with. We'll mess with our bird a little bit more um, later here. Let me... This is shadow work. So we will let this bird dry and then we will come back to it. That's all we're doing is smearing painting at this point. All right, let's work on our apples. So we are going to need these two colors here. So I'm going to get some uh, red and a maroonish color red. And we're just going to start painting them in, guys. I'm going to use my pointy because I don't want to mess up. And so I'm grabbing this dark red color and I'm coming in and I'm painting on top of all this white. So I'm going to flip this around so I can go ahead and get those painted. There we go. Uh, so I can get those painted. So you are also going to want to get those painted. So we're going to go ahead and paint in our apples. On top of that white with the red. And we already know that apples are not perfectly shaped. So there's really no right or wrong. We will put our accent in after we get it painted. Once I get this first one painted, I'll show you on that. So, there's the first one. So you're just going to keep doing that with all of them. Uh, we're down to our last four minutes, so let's get her done, guys. Get her done. Clean in those apples. You can also shape them out a little bit. I am going to grab a little bit of my background color. Stupid brush. You're all over the place.
Alright, so I'm painting all my apples. So we're painting in our apples right now. We are almost done with this painting. We're about five minutes out. Um, and then we're going to do some accents and um, anything else that you might want to fix. You could do as well. And if you added extra apples like I did, then that means that we have a few extra apples that we have to paint. So we are going to do that. And once we get them all painted red, I will show you the accenting. And then we will be finished. Cute. Now with this painting, uh, you could always add bugs, you could add uh, bees, butterflies, anything like that. Um, you could also add the sun. It's still wet. Still have a lot of thing on. It's okay. So now I'm going to help. All right. So because I had a lot of extra paint on that one, let me flip this around. Because I had a lot of extra paint um, is why that one's a little bit lighter. So now we're going to accent them. So I'm going to grab a little bit of black. I'm just going to kind of brush that off. And um, I'm just going to kind of come in here and give these a little bit of shape. While it's wet. So we're giving it a little bit of shape. We can go ahead and add a little bit of white to that. to give it that shine that we want it to have. Um, let's see, they have a solid color down in here. And if we don't like it, we can always come in with our red. And that's it. All right, so we're just gonna keep doing that. So you're just gonna accent all your apples however you need to do it. Um, if you don't like it, you just come back in with the red, which is still gonna show your accent, which is what we wanted. So we've got red delicious apples. Delicious. These two are joined. I hope your apples are turning out better than mine are. 
Again, I have not painted these prior, so you and I are painting them together. For the first time. You can wait for me to dry a little bit if you want to. That's totally up to you. Got two more apples. So we're just giving it that accent color that it needs. Because it's swollen. And we are almost done, you guys. I cannot believe we actually did this. A little over an hour. But we still got her done. Very, very good. One more. All right, so I have painted in my apples. And now it's time we are done with painting, but you can go through now and fix your bird, make it a little darker if you want to. Fluff it out a little bit more. Flip it, flip it. Add some more orange. Let's put a friend. Not a whole lot we could do until we dried. Pointy is it so pointy? Okay, fluff up his little beard. Good.
All right, guys. I'm going to add a little bit more background because I noticed that currently using a little bit more than background. Okay, well, I think that's about as good as it's going to get. So here is the painting for today. I think it's pretty decent. I went with a green background, but I think that's going to work, you guys. Hey, thanks so much for joining me today. Um, I hope you learned something about painting, and maybe you could teach me something about painting. Uh, so until next time, I'll see you in the next painting class. Thanks, everyone.